Mission Log, Entry 1 I managed to dock at the station. No one has answered my communications. The air is polluted. I will access the station with the protection of the suit. I don't like this. There's too much silence. There's so much darkness. Hey there, everybody. Welcome to the next game in our Let's Scare series. We are playing Void Mine. This is a Metroidvania kind of thing, from what I could tell. But we're going to go ahead and figure out what's going on in the space station. So we are currently in the docking bay. Okay, so space far is high break. Magic? Maybe? Okay, space bar is how I interact with things. Now, keep in mind, this thing has not told me anything. I know very little of what I'm actually doing here. There is an unusual vibration in this asteroid. There are many errors in measurements. I'm afraid we'll have to extend this mission. Engineer Officer Stoner. <laughs> All right, Officer Stoner. Oh, this is so weird. Even the lights are, like, moving around objects. Which is kind of cool. Can I, like, break things? Nope. Anything up here? I have zero clue as to what the story is. I have zero clue as to what I'm supposed to do. It just dropped me into the game. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, okay, so it's just not a, a door I have to hold open very long. Let's not touch that. Whatever that is. And if it looks grainy to you, that's because the game is grainy. Lexus, what's assist, what's in, what's in here? Can't we establish a single key for all the doors? I'm going crazy with maintenance. Computer technician pickets. All right, Pickets. What's in here? Unnecessary repairs. Okay, so that's my health kit, I guess. Okay. I don't want to hit that. Don't hit me, don't hit me. Okay. Something must have happened. Something bad. Where's that damn vein of iridium? Wait, what? We only have this. F we only found this foolish gold. This company's going straight to hell. I could pick up boxes. Wait, can I? Or is that just her doing her thing? Oh, I can pick up boxes. Interesting. That might be a feature useful for later. God, this is actually kind of terrifying. <laughs> it does remind me of old Metroid, though. It really does. Alright, nothing you could do there. Uh, red lights are never fun. Okay. What'd that do? Should I open the other door? I had to drag a container to unblock a door. That's not my job. Let me remind you that we're in microgravity. Tie the stuff down tight. I'm just giving these guys random voices because I am never going to remember all the characters that I see name-wise. Unless it's somebody like super duper important. Alright. Oh god, that's actually kind of creepy that you turn around the lights just suddenly dip out of existence. Like, I can do this and see something behind me, but if I would do this, I wouldn't see it. Oh, this is slightly uncomfortable. uncomfortable. Only slightly. Uh, okay, I don't know any passwords.
All right, Universal Encyclopedia of Earth. In 2079, an asteroid consisting of 98% pure gold. Holy Jesus. I mean, there are gold asteroids out there, but uh, I don't know if it's that much gold. 2079, an asteroid consisting of 98% pure gold is found. More than a billion tons were extracted from it, reducing its market price to zero. Wow, so gold is now like the cubic zirconia. It's just that cheap because there's that much of it. Uh, if only that's how it worked. Because people will assign whatever value they want to things and then make it expensive. Or because it was like, oh, it was extracted from an asteroid, so it's super special, so you got to pay more for it. Space Traveler's Bible. Psalm 69.5. You, God, know my folly. Hmm. Interesting. I'm going to avoid that. I still am very terrified that that's going to do something. anything over here no okay oh let's just drag this on out of here can you person I don't know if you're a guy or a girl drag this over here thank you goodbye I'm gonna just drag that one just to be safe in case Something spooky happens. Hey. Was that? Okay, I'm hoping that was that that I saw in the corner of my eye. Not something actually terrifying. Ooh, boy. Okay, so the story that I could tell. These guys are mining, because this is a mining unit. They were mining an asteroid. Something went wrong. Terribly, terribly wrong. Either a creature got loose or something super no bueno happened. And it was it was just mind boggling bad. Like it was over basically overnight kind of thing. Oh cool. So that just drops it down. I'm not gonna test it with me though. Second door. To all crew members, we've increased the security protocol. Each level will have its own password. The key to this level is Ceres. C-E-R-E-S. I forgot how to say that. I know that's like a god or something to do with Hades. But it's, that means we're by Pluto. Jesus. I've lost my precious Bible along all the digital archives. The Lord tests our faith in the darkest moments. Oh, well, I found your Bible. That was quick. All right, so series. If I that's how it's pronounced, maybe I don't know. But that's the password. All right, we're in. So here's the thing. Mission log entry two. It's strange. I haven't found any of the station's crew. I'm decoding messages and transcripts. I have to find out what happened. I have given my word to Hannah. So, from what I could tell, based on the thing I saw on Steam, um, by the way, if you guys want to play this game, go get it. Like, it's five dollars. It's not that expensive. You can just drop that and get the game and go on. It so far seems really fun, but from what I could tell, it is story-wise anyway. Something must have gotten loose. Either from the asteroid or from their own containment. But they were dabbling with powers they didn't understand. Kind of like what happens in Aliens. Where it's like, oh, we found a thing and it's great for scientific advancement. And then it turns out it's just going to go around killing everybody. That's kind of the vibe I'm getting from here. Specifically like alien isolation. Because it's not even your ship. You just happened to come onto the ship to find out what was going on. And now you're kind of throwing yourself into the mix. So that's the vibe I'm getting from it, except it's in a very Metroid 2D, 2D scroller style game. So I'm liking it a lot already. All right, so now we're in the storage unit. Right. 
breaks. Boxes. Go back this way. Thank you. And do this. Float over this. And go in here. All right. What's going on here? Oh, Jesus. Mining Station Iron Claw on Asteroid Umbra 113. We see no progress in your operation. We remind you that breaching the contract will resu result in serious economic penalty. So these guys are trying to hurry up with finding what they needed to find. Oh, God. I need to find a repair kit. Like bad. And I realized that was a bomb. Oxygen leaking. Man, this game is unforgiving with that. Do I have time for this? Do I have time for this? No, I do not. Another team full of rocks. No trace of iridium. Death will be received when the decades visit me. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Find a repair kit. It's like vital right now. Oh, God. I need a repair kit. Or I will literally die. Please find one. Please find one. This one? That's healing. I'm gonna die. I'm actually gonna die. The station's falling apart. Oh, okay. There's no repair kits. Oh my god. I actually suffocated. Oh my god. Come on. Great. Note to self, avoid bombs. We're just going to leave this here for now, guys. I will go ahead and play more of this later, because that actually kind of frustrated me a little bit. But I've also got a lot of things to record, because this week is going to be very long for me, so I want to get all this stuff down-packed. So I will catch you all here next time on Let's Play Void Mine. Well, sorry, Let's Scare Void Mine. I honestly don't know how scary this game is going to be, but it's definitely fun. So, it's it's mildly unsettling. I'll give it that. But I'll catch you guys all here next time on Let's Scare Void Mine. If you liked today's episode, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Hit that subscribe button if you already are subscribed. And join the Curly Crew, and I will catch you all here next time. I hope you all have a great and wonderful day.